Hello everyone, welcome back. We're continuing through with seamless gameplay. I'm James Wolf, as I was before, that hasn't changed. Nor has it changed that I'm still piloting this ship through a very narrow passage. I'm questioning how this guy managed to get it in here. I actually kind of want to meet the captain that did pilot the ship in here and then unfortunately met his death. Not my fault though. He didn't die because of me, he died because of the red coats. Darn those bloody red coats. Alright, well, the dude sitting on a box next to me is the owner. He's apparently just a uh, plantation on. worker. Or plantation owner, and this ship just to carry things from. Whoa, what? Whales! That was awesome! Ah, open water. Here we are. And cutscenes! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I was a pirate that shot down a bunch of Royal Navy sheeps and the one that kind of got you accused of being a pirate. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's actually a very nice looking ship. Fantastic Obviously just a merchant ship, nothing very to do with piracy. I just heard a woman talk. Oh, achievement complete. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm playing this with the Ubisoft Unity Uplay whatever launcher thing. Uh, it has its own built-in achievement system on top of the game's right. achievements. Easy now. Where they merge, I'm not sure go. how it all works. Welcome back. Hey! Hello! Hello, hello. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, alright? My brain? What? Oh yeah, the whole... I need you to move your head and look at these lights, just here. It lights? What lights? Look up. Looking up. Yep, That's it. it went off. Down. Down, down. Oh, that So light. far, so good. Let's get you up. So wait, is this like... So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. Shouldn't I have been told all this before I sat in the brain melting chair? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? Yes, it does. All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Yes, I've done this a handful of times. Exactly uh, what type of memory research are we doing? Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Entertainment? What? Um... Wait, you mean to tell me you're, like, taking people's memories and using it Maybe as, you like, saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. All right, It'll so just you're going to use okay? my ancestors' memories hey there. to make oodles of money with basically an well, online you, game in the Animus system? Bonjourne. Interesting. Question. Why bon, was I not seeing fair. any of Magnifique. this Merci. before I sat in the Animus chair? This is for you. Like, seriously. The primary tool of our trade. I'm pretty your sure communicator. I would have like, walked past all this, seen Power all this. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Before getting in that room with the chair. And the memories. Unless someone like drugged me up and I just woke up in it. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Okay, so my earpiece has like a Wi-Fi thing with a security code. And it lets me go where I can and can't. I'll find a way around that eventually. Hack into it or something. But seriously, what am I doing? The whole idea of just being... See that flashing wireless signal? 
It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Sample 17? Alright. Anyways, yeah, so most of the other Assassin's Creed had some goal as far as I can recall, as far as like a hidden treasure lost in time that my ancestors knew where the location was, and that's what the whole going into the Animus was for. But now it's about, I guess, making an RPG or some t making a educational video game, I guess is what they're trying to do here with this center. But, it, I don't know, I don't see as big of a goal. What's this? Uh, close communicator. I don't want to see any of this, I just want to play the game. I thought that was a loading screen. Are we there? Are we moving? How do I, okay, press E. Okay, arrow keys, select. Simple enough. I thought I did it earlier when I clicked, and that was a loading screen. You but ready? It wasn't a loading screen. Let's it go. Was other things. Ah, Abstract there's code. the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Uh, yes, Have you met yes, our new yes. hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. No, <laughs> you, no. Very exciting. Can I Welcome punch aboard. Punch on. I, I mean, can I'm clicking, but I can't punch it. For a minute? Just let me get this one settled, and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice right, to meet you. you. Bye-bye. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences Desmond. from what we find in there. Desmond, isn't that the guy I played in the last one? This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. <laughs> I so like him. here we are. Your I very like own him. Animus workstation. Wait, I get my own This is all cubicle? yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Alright, so now going into Ancestors' memories is a job? And I get paid to record this? So that other people could have fun in my own memories? Okay. Interesting. Alright, what's, what's flashing on the thing here? Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melody LeMay. Well, whatever LeMay. question of how I got here... You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway. Yes, Born March answer. 10. 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters oh, yeah, activated. Oh, the guy's still underneath the thing working on, isn't he? Should I not be using this while he's working on it, or does he want me to do that? He probably wants me in there, like, hey, do this, and I can like calibrate it to your wavelength. It's more stable. Jeez. All right. Oh, look at this. It's pretty big. This looks like Havana. I think we're in Havana now. There's gotta be a plot twist somewhere. In this game. There always has been. Like, plot twist? The dude who you're trying to help is actually evil, and you gotta find the treasure before he does, and there's other things about being able to see other people's memories because of the way family lines split. Uh, uh, we got lively Havana. I'm expecting a plot twist I've been here once later before. on in the game. It was a truly awful pleasure. Havana, Cuba, July 17th. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Well, 
he does have a good reason. He was, you know, about to have his throat slit. Uh, he does have a reason to act like a moron. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Splendid. <laughs> drink. <laughs> well, they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. What? I didn't understand a word he said. Alright, so we're just gonna walk along. Walking along. Right, I don't really need Hola, to hide ladies. this early in don't the game. You don't know these women, do you? Uh, no. I charge money for that kind of privilege. Get my poster on a few the dozen reals for every hour of knowing. So I'm just gonna ignore them. the red no, dots. Goodness, no, I'm, I'm a married man. Cat. Married man of their forte, mate. It's probably important. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go around... Lend us a few real, uh, Sugar man is... I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Buy a pair of swords. Alright, I got a free set of swords because I saved some dude's life. Alright. Oh, all right, here we go. Do they have? British Colonial Cutlass. I like cutlasses for some reason. The French swords are just silly. I mean, look, that doesn't look like a sword. I mean, yes, it looks nice. It's fancy, but where's the nice big sharp blade? That's not... Okay, that's too straight. That's more close to what I had in mind, but it's not really the cutlass I had in mind. That? Mmm. Huh. Oh, but I don't have that much cash. I'm gonna have to go with, uh... Yes, I'll go with that one. I guess. It's cheap. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still... Do in a pinch. Oh, puff a duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Okay. Tavern with a courtyard interior. Everything's all flashing. So I need to uh, figure out where we're going. That. Climb. Can you climb the vines? Climb the vines. 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 Up. No. Okay. Now I know why people say this game is so horrible to play. I've never played it on a PC before. I've played it on a console and it seemed to play just fine. Now, I see what they meant. This is horrid. I, I want to go up over there. On the roof. Can I go up? Can we jump? No. I'm supposed to get up there. Up there. I do that. Doubt I can just like go inside and use the staircase. I don't want to be hiding. 
Stop acting like a suspicious fool. Doors, the doors open. Roof, 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 roof access. Ladder, staircase. Door. Reach the top of the church. Um, Me gustaría pasar una semana en el cepo en el Oh, look at that. I am out of time. Why do we just go over time? Let's take more time. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please like and subscribe to get more gaming fun from all of us here at Modernly Skilled Gamers.